Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Jarissa and today I'm gonna be making another thrift flip. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I fix a pair of jeans that I found at the thrift store. I bought these ones for $3 and I had them for a while but they were sitting in that chair that I said I wasn't gonna put anything on. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you never miss out when I post a new video. I think it's on this corner, you can hit that. So the first thing that I did is that I started by trying the pants on. I tried them on and I saw that the main problem that I had is that the pants were not high-waisted and also they were really wide on me i just looked like a potato sack that needed to be fixed i just pulled out the fabric to the back and i saw more or less how much fabric i was gonna have to cut and then i took a measuring tape and started measuring how much fabric was the excess i didn't want to have a lot of extra fabric left in like the booty area so this is where i didn't do the elastic and instead i decided to take basically like a triangle shape all around your butt so i went ahead and took a little marker and started to mark the area where i was going to remove the fabric i basically just went on the sides and marked where i was going to remove the fabric as i have taken the measurement before when i took the pants off i just had to pin everything before i pinned everything down i went ahead and removed the little belt band that is like in the part of the back i'm gonna need this later because i'm gonna sew it back i just went around the crush area and i sew it very slowly on my machine because i didn't want to break the needle after i was done with the crush area then i tried the pants again and i wanted to see how much fabric i was gonna have to take off the legs so i wanted to see that everything was symmetrical and that it was actually making sense on my body and not looking kind of weird so i just laid a pair of Levi's jeans that I had I just put them inside out and laid them on top of the pants that I was working with and in this way I decided how much fabric I was going to take off the pants and they have a kind of cut that I kind of like because it's kind of loosened it's like a pair of mom jeans if you're planning on using a piece of clothing to cut something that you're making just make sure that it has a similar material if it's something without elastic then use something without elastic and always remember to put it inside out basically I just did a straight line all around both sides to make sure that it was gonna be a little bit more snug to my legs instead of just being all loose and, and you know like baggy whenever I'm sewing jeans or pants or anything like that in general I always try to take less than the max don't take too much because there's nothing that is a bigger pain in the ass and having to break a seam I don't like doing that so I always just try to take little by little instead of having to take too much and then having to break everything that you just saw what I did is that I basically just went around the sides and I kept on trying the pants on to see that I like the fit I didn't want them to be like a super spaghetti type of jean I wanted them to be a little bit more like if the mom fit after i knew how much fabric i was gonna have to take on the sides then i just put it inside out i cut all the excess of the fabric on the crush area and also on both sides of the legs and then i just did the six tack pattern because i didn't want it to rip open but then after i was done with this i went ahead and i put that little band that was in the belt in the back again in this way you can see that the line where i was sewing goes all the way up to the waistline and it just looks a little bit more natural and like that you didn't really do anything there i really like how the pants turned out and especially considering that these pants were so huge on me they really look very high-waisted the next time that I will buy a pair of jeans like this or something like that I would probably get it maybe like two sizes bigger but the bigger the pants the more high-waisted they are gonna be so just keep that in mind before you buy a pair of jeans but I just got these ones because the color was so pretty and it had pockets in the front and in the back and that's not very common so this fabric is kind of weird because it's one of those fabrics that looks really tight but then when you put it on and you move on it it kind of gets a little loosened has it ever happened to you that you have like a pair of pants that you put on and they look really tight but then once you start moving on them and once they like warm up they kind of like start getting bigger so this is what happens with the fabric i don't really mind it because sometimes when i eat you know like my belly gets a little bigger and i kind of feel like i'm losing my circulation when i wear pants that are too tight so i kind of like the fact that they are a little looser and as i like the mom jean vibe i think that this fabric is for me but this is something to keep in mind depending on the material that you're using so this is what i have to show you for today i hope that you like it if you're interested in watching more videos like this you can click on one of these videos that I have around here and also comment in the comment section which videos you would like to see next or what kind of trip flip you would like me to make next thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next time bye, -bye.